Advocates say Georgia's foster care and adoption system is failing. But after months of testimony, state lawmakers think they are a big step closer to a fix. Reporter Valencia Jones explains what could soon change. Hours of heart-wrenching foster care testimonies heard at the state capitol this year. We had our lives tremendously turned upside down by the very system designed to assist us. Family separation trauma amid investigations into numerous cases of mistreatment and hoteling of foster kids. Advocates demanding solutions. Imagine if we redirected the resources from a failing foster care system into preventing it in the first place. The Senate Study Committee on Foster Care and Adoption voting today to approve several recommendations, streamlining the process to reduce mountains of paperwork and red tape. The Georgia Department of Human Services reporting more than 11,000 children are in foster care in Georgia. There are many issues that we can improve on everything from the timeline of how long it takes a child to get through the system. From foster care to reunification or adoption. Recommendations that also include reducing state adoption rates, proposed legislation to make sure foster kids have state IDs, and addressing caseworker overload. Issues foster parent and former state representative Mike Dudgeon is all too familiar with. The foster care workers have so much to do, and so we as foster parents sometimes have to pick up kind of the slack. He's looking forward to more changes. Making sure that judges and lawyers prioritize these cases so the kids aren't stuck in foster care for extra time. I'm looking forward to really being able to make a big difference over the next couple of years. Valencia Jones, Atlanta Now News.